r slash askreddit by Redmond Dietis. What's the worst thing you've done in the heat of the moment? My parents were tenors and they used to do a lot of work from home. They had really big, heavy metal scissors they used to use. I was very young. Under 10 for sure. My older brother did something to piss me off. I grabbed the scissor near me and threw it at him. It missed his eyes by a small fraction. He went ballistic on why would I do something like this. 25 plus years later the memory still makes me sad how close I was to seriously injuring or killing my brother. Childhood friend died and I was about 20. He liked my drawings, so I wrote him a goodbye letter on the back of one of my drawings. He had been cremated, and I found myself alone in a room with the urn. So I opened it up. His ashes were in a bag, so I stuffed the drawing letter down alongside the bag, thinking that way I could hide it from his family. When I did that, the bag ripped and I got his ashes all over my hands. I brushed off what I could into the urn but had to wash some of him down the sink. It was awful and I'm still guilty about it decades later. I used to go to the gym and sneak into the health suite, sauna, steam room, hot tub, without paying. Got busted and had to pay on the way out. Manager was nice and said, look, just pay next time okay? I said, I won't get caught next time. She said consider your membership cancelled. Middle of summer, caught my girlfriend cheating and in the heat of the moment threw my fan at the wall. I was not only sad and alone but sad, alone and sweaty that fateful night. <laughs> Told the judge, give me your best shot. 10 added days for contempt of court. <laughs> my dad and I got into an argument when I was 6 years old so I wrote my very specific, very rare first name across the side of his brand new car with a stone. When he asked me if I'd done it, I, of course denied it profusely. I am talking Meryl Streep in Sophie's Choice level of acting. I should have won a goddamned Oscar. So he sort of laughed and said, you're telling me someone else came up to my car and scratched your name across it? I denied it for a whole afternoon while, in fairness to him, my father giggled to himself. I couldn't figure out why he was giggling. Surely he was going to skin me alive later and wear me around town of a cold evening. He said he couldn't help laughing because the lie was so ludicrous but I stuck by it so resolutely that it was one of the funniest situations he'd ever been in. He knew he should punish me but it was also so marvelous he couldn't bring himself to be angry. I'm nearly 36. Every time he gets a new car now he says you're not mad at me for something are you before he shows it to me. I guess I earned that. Your dad sounds like an incredibly patient man. A lot of fathers wouldn't be able to get themselves to laugh in a situation like that. <laughs> Texting when I'm pissed off. The anger goes away. The text remains for eternity. <laughs> I don't know about eat of the moment, but when a cop asked why I thought I could go that fast down that road I, without thinking, responded. Because I always do. Then realized what my mouth had just said without consulting my brain and proceeded to lay my head against my steer wheel forcefully in shame. I was probably 10-12 hanging out with the neighborhood kids one being a few years younger. He was being annoying as f and wouldn't stop so after a few minutes of constant annoyance I threw my scooter at him. Hitting his head. No serious injuries but he needed a few stitches. I knew I messed up the instant the scooter left my hands. I had gotten into a fist fight with my stepdad when I was 14 and got kicked out of the house. My dad picked me up and was lecturing me about making good decisions and asked me, do you want to grow up to be a criminal loser? I told him, at least I won't work a dead end crap job and grow up to be like you. The instant it left my mouth I regretted it. He even shot back with, exactly I want you to be better than me. And I could tell it hurt him. The crappy part is. He did everything for me and still does. That conversation pops into my head from time to time and I still feel horrible about it. Edit. I did apologize to him later that same day. What I said came from a shitty place and he knew that. Regardless I still think about it and it bothers the hell out of me that I could say something like that to someone who did nothing but try and make my life infinitely better than his was growing up. I didn't do it but it happened near me. I was working construction one summer, 
and the veteran guy working with me got into a fight with the foreman and came back to the floor we were working on all pissed off, kicking things around. We were up on the fourth floor, and windows hadn't gone in yet. He picks up a huge level and flings it out the window, and about 5 seconds later says, Fuck. That was mine. Smoked crack. This was late 1990s, I was around 29. I was a pretty heavy meth user seller so I went to this lady's house who would usually have sex if I brought over meth and got her high. When I got there she didn't want anyone in and there were two other guys there on the porch she wasn't letting in either. We talked for a second said they had crack but no lighter and no money top by one. I had a lighter. I gave them the lighter and smoked some crack with them. First time smoking crack and the last. Within one hour we ran out. They knew some gangsters they could trade their gold chains for more crack. There was no pondering, no thought process, driving to the bad side of the entire county at 3am to trade gold chains for crack seemed like the best idea ever. I had a moment of clarity and noped out of there pretty fast. I used to be not so great of a guy. Clean since the 22nd of May, 2000. (laughs) Through my engagement ring in a fjord. I could have hocked that sucker. When I was in 10th grade a classmate of mine pissed on my shoes. I didn't not snap right then and there, but he made fun of my looks a couple minutes later. I completely lost my marbles, grabbed him by the neck and slammed his head into a steel beam. In hindsight I realized that I could have killed him or disabled him for life, but luckily he got away with a bad concussion. Girlfriend cheated on me in high school. Girlfriend's temporary boyfriend had a friend who keyed my car. She told me who did it and I decided the best way to handle it was to take a plunger stick and go into his job at the mall and beat him in the face with it until the stick broke. Not my proudest moment. My oldest son was still a baby and I was a fresh teenage dad. It was the middle of the night and he was screaming. I was sleep deprived and I was getting screamed at in my ear, and he was sick and cranky and nothing would help. I went to move him and his baby fist hit me in the eye or something. But either way, I swatted it away really fast and hard and he cried even louder. I kept rocking him and crying and holding him even after he fell asleep. I felt so bad. Almost 9 years later and I still feel awful about it. I passed on a call offering me a pretty good job, because I was super busy on my crappy job at the time. Did not pull out. I work hospital security, and we hold a lot of violent psych patients until they can be transferred to a behavioral facility. This surprisingly strong old man assaulted a nurse when she was trying to change his briefs, and I responded first. I was wrestling with the guy and trying to hold him in the bed until backup got there. He finally calmed down, looked me in the eye, and told me something to the effect of, when I get out of here I'm going to kill you and rape your wife. And I responded. Big words for a man in a diaper. I've never seen anyone rage harder. Dude genuinely tried his best to kill me. But thankfully my co-workers got there right afterward and nobody got hurt. Gifted someone a ridiculous amount of money. I was in high school and said to my then boyfriend's dad that he was an abusive asshole. The consequences of that were just awful. What did he do and what happened after that? He beat up his son in front of me and told me if I didn't leave I was next. He didn't allow my boyfriend to ever contact me again. We never saw each other after that and I don't know what happened to him. Beat up someone inside of a church. Heavily overreacting while gaming and throwing the controller at the TV. Just like those videos everyone makes fun of. I learned a massive lesson that day. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.